It's the mat work. I have like a quick question. It's about the campaign that I've been running like the last like few weeks uh, for like the video that I've been using with you guys. So I've been getting enough. I've been getting the views that I want. But I was I was wondering if there was anything bad for me if I was to like buy like, likes or comments, not views, but specifically like likes or comments to like to look like it boosts engagement. Does that make sense? No, nah, don't do it, bro. Okay. Um, because you don't want to do it because you don't want at any at any point if your credibility gets questioned and people can prove that you did something like that, it'll completely invalidate all of the real traffic that you can go to. Because then people are just it's like, oh, all this shit is fake. For one thing I hear is fake, all this shit is fake. Secondly, you run the risk of YouTube finding out and then either deleting the comments and the likes, which brings us back to the first problem. Like, if I went to your video, and let's say when I discovered it, you have 1,500 likes and, like, 800 comments, and I look at it again two days later, and you have... 20 likes and six comments because YouTube deleted the fake comments. Immediately, once again, I'm going to assume everything else about it is fake. I'm not going. I'm not going to fuck with it. Um, so just for that reason alone, nah, man. You, you don't ever. And plus, the ad, like we were talking about last week or whenever that was, with ads, your main thing is you're buying data, you're buying information, and you don't want to muddy up your information. You don't want to muddy up your data. You want to see how much organic traffic you can get from doing these things because that will show you if what you're pushing is, is the thing that you should be putting your money into. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, it, it happens, man, with ad campaigns. I have I had some clients like a couple of weeks ago where I was running, uh, it might have been last month, either last month or the month before last. Well, I had three different Google ad campaigns going up. One was going really well, like it was amazing. It was probably like my best ad campaign in a while. Uh, mm -hmm. The second one was doing pretty good, not amazing, but better than expected. And I had a third one that was like, compared to the others, doing like terrible, um, mm -hmm. like bad to the point where it, I had to have that conversation with the artist of like, this just may not, this may not be the one, you know, like the, the information, if you believe in it hard enough to where you still want to put money into it, cool, we can still do it. But based on the things that I have been seeing, I had to have a conversation. I'm like, I just, I don't know, man. Like, we're putting it in front of people. People aren't responding to it. Um, a hard pill to swallow sometimes, but the pill that something that, but that's what you're doing when you're testing these things out. You are pretty much trying to figure out what song is going to be worth you dumping a hundred thousand dollars into it if you had it, you know. Um, so I look at it that way, man. And just like I said, buying fake likes, buying fake comments, it muddies up the data. It'll hurt your credibility if people find out. People hate that shit. And then you run the risk of like YouTube blacklisting you, pretty much marking marking you as like a spam account or an account who does things like that. And like I said, they most of the times they delete that stuff. They catch it and they delete it because YouTube is trying to rid their platform of stuff like that because it hurts their credibility as well. So yeah. they actively scour and delete stuff like that. Like I, I've seen it happen to like bigger artists where I like I've seen videos before where I would look at it, it'll have like fifty thousand views, and I'll look at it a week later, and it's at like eighteen thousand. I'm like, what the fuck? Like how? Like what? What happened? Or I will use Social Blade sometimes to go look at different accounts, wow. just to see what they're doing as far as traffic, and you'll see days where it'd be like they got. 20,000 views a day, 18,000 this day, 15,000 this day, and in the fifth day, it'll be minus 50,000 views. And that's YouTube getting rid of all the views they just bought for the account or all of, mm. all of the engagement they bought for the account. So it just looks bad, man. It looks bad. Um, I would say just try other things before, not, not even before, because don't do it pretty much. But if if you're kind of seeing like it lacking engagement, maybe try adding like a couple of other tactics into it. Like maybe get some repost pages to shout you out or try to get influencers to directly push people to it. Okay. But not if, if you don't want to take that direction for whatever reason, or even that doesn't work, it may just be the signifier of, you know, test something else out. See, see how something else works out.